Hi. A lot of this video's info is from legends and tales in Roman oral tradition, passed down for centuries and written down nearly 2,000 years ago by Roman scholars like Livy, and recounting tales from 800 to 600 BC, and the actual historical records were destroyed around 390 BC by invading Celts from the north. They sacked the city, looting as they could, and leaving. Many records were destroyed, and much of the written history and texts were lost. It was centuries later during the centuries with Julius and Augustus Caesars that writers like Livy, Dionysius, and Varro wrote about Rome, and those documents basically survived millennia, and here we are. Romans like Livy say their city was founded by a man named Romulus, brother and murderer of Remus, raised by a she-wolf, a lupa, or rather a prostitute as Livy suggests in Roman slang lupanar. Anyway, with seven semi-mythical kings. Historians now doubt Livy's history of Rome, the kingdom period especially, but a faction of scholars like John Kier and author Susan Wise Barr believe that all histories of ancient times involve a great deal of speculation. Speculation anchored by physical evidence, like relics and ruins, isn't more reliable than speculation anchored by the stories that a people choose to preserve and tell to their children. The evidence provided by ancient tales is no less important than the evidence left behind by merchants on a trade route. Both need to be collected, sifted, evaluated, and put to use. There is some truth in legends and it can give us decent glimpses of life way back when, and reflect actual events, like the Iliad and the Trojan War. Its Greek gods aren't necessarily real, but Troy did exist. Vast destruction did occur back then, 1200 BC. Livy and Co.'s accounts are our best glimpse into Rome from the 700s BC to 500, roughly when the despotic Etruscan king of Rome was overthrown and the Roman Republic was formed. Livy's accounts are our best bet. So what I want to do is blend Livy and Co's accounts with actual history gauged from archaeology and sources and info we have today. I want to take Livy's kings and paint a more true picture. If you're interested, excellent. If not, that's fine. But I want to do this and hopefully someone or ones will watch it. I will avoid using terms like likely this, probably that. I'll avoid that. And I will take some creative license. That's all, let's go. The Indo-Europeans came from the steppe of the Ukraine. They moved east and west. The three sibling clans migrated into Europe across what's now Russia and Poland. The three siblings split up. The Germanic tribe migrated north in Scandia and today's German lowlands. The Celtic tribe settled in the Alpine plateaus, central Europe. And the Italic tribe migrated south across Alpine passes, first into the Po Valley. Then the Ladial clan migrated south, likely on horseback. The Ladials moved across the Apennines down the Tiber and settled in what's now Latium. This is mostly real history. Here's where the fun begins. A long ways to the east, the Achaeans, the Greeks, waged war on that great enemy, Troy. Egyptian records relate around this time the tumultuous chaos of the Sea Peoples, persons beyond known civilization. They likely responded to a vast drought that is believed to have affected much of the world, like in the Balkans. Another factor was the Indo-Europeans, 